Right guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and in this we'll be taking a look at Dragon Ball Super, Superhero, and when it's most likely to arrive for Dokkan, right? I mean, I know Legends, seemingly it seems as if they're banking on Part 2 being Dragon Ball Super, Superhero theme, so I think sooner rather than later they'll start to get those units, but for Dokkan, I'd say things are a bit different. For starters, we have both JP and Global. I'm going to be honest, Global players, I just don't foresee... Uh, a potential window uh, for you guys to receive the Dragon Ball Super superhero stuff as of yet. As you guys are aware, the film is actually not releasing internationally till August. And if we take a look at JP, I say JP, but global schedule as well, right? So we're in the month of June. Remember, the anniversary is here in this week. That's essentially when you guys will get LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta from the 7th to the 9th and LR Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta. I also believe that Global um, should be getting this unit as a bit of a filler to tie you guys down for the next two, week, two or three weeks, right? This uh, Goku and Piccolo from the Saiyan Saga, who actually did release uh, as a part of the Raditz celebration, but like, it's Raditz, who cares? They can just use this unit as a part to a lot. I will say, whilst this unit is very good, their categories are very limited, um, and they... Uh, they also need a bit of help, and with the anniversary being so close, is it just a skip? There is, like, no conceivable way, right, that they're going to drop, you know, any Dokkan Fest, as well as this LR, as well as, like, a dual Dokkan Fest here. There's just, there's no way, there's not enough time. So, Global Players, I'm sorry, I think you guys are going to be getting it in August. Now, there's also something interesting to talk about with that, and that... August is very close to the Worldwide Celebration, right? Remember, the Worldwide Celebration units are shared between both Global and JP. Typically, they release, what, like the 29th, the 30th of August, 1st of September. I, however, just don't foresee an opportunity where JP will wait that long to drop these movie units. There's like, they will lose out, I think, a lot of hype and therefore a lot of money. And again, they have like financial guys crunching these numbers. They must have evaluated, the, you know, the impact of releasing the hype movie stuff like within like a month and then releasing it two months later. Again, this is all my head canon. This is all my theory and speculation, but you know, you, just common sense. You guys are assuming that, let's just assume that we're in the seats of Bandai or um, Akatsuki or whoever makes the, you know, the, the decisions essentially for Dokkan. Are you really going to wait two months to drop? And again, I should have pointed this out at the start of the year. We are going to go into spoilers. So here's the thing. I'll give you guys five seconds before, you know, we, we actually get into spoilers for Dragon Ball Super Super Hero. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So imagine you're in Bandai seats. Are you really going to wait two months to drop Final Gohan and Orange Piccolo and then sell Max? Or are you going to immediately drop them in like the first two weeks of the film's release? I'm going to take option number two. So again, Global Players, I'm sorry, but I just don't foresee you guys getting... The Dragon Ball Super Superhero stuff as of yet, but I do I do think eventually you will get to it, right? So there's a couple of different things to talk about. Number one, this is a bit of a unprecedented uh, event, right? The, la the last time we actually got something like movie themed was the Broly stuff, which was yeah, wow, 2018. Right? It's been it's been such a long time since we received like some form of a Dragon Dragon Ball content. Right? I'm not talking like Dokkan or Legend, just Dragon Ball content in general, and that film still holds up, right? So that's pretty good. But if we take a look at these guys, right, the, the Full Power Broly and Gogeta Blue dropped on the 26th, but these free-to-play units, and I've just pulled up the Blue Goku for now, I said the Blue Goku, but the AGL base Goku for now, he actually dropped on the 14th, so, you know, all these free-to-play units, this base Goku, the base Vegeta, the Golden Freezer, and then the Full Power, I say the Full Power, but I think it was a Super Saiyan or base Broly, Int Broly, um, they didn't get their Dokken Awakenings for, what, another 12 days? Now, if we uh, we move over to this guy, right, this free-to-play Gohan from the film, he dropped, what, on the 11th? So, if we just take a look, 12 days from the 11th is the 7th, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it would be like the 22nd, the 23rd, huh? Yeah, because two weeks would be this, so that's 14. So, wow, yeah, 12 days exactly would actually be the Thursday. Why that's a, a wow factor is because Thursday is the typical day that Doe Confess are released for JP. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. I, I don't foresee, you know, I don't foresee them dropping any, um, Dokkan Fest on this day. I could foresee that Gohan getting an awakening, but I think it would be very likely that if there are any Dokkan Fest to come, it would be the week, it would be a week after, precisely a week after on the 30th, because again, I've also pulled up, um, this unit right here, which is, I know a lot of people actually adore, um, because of their OST, their animations, the card art, whatever, but they also dropped on the 30th of June. 
So at this point, um, you know, we're still, I'm, I say we're still, I'm expecting Golden Freezer or some sort of LR to come out in this week. In fact, I'm expecting Twitter reveal tomorrow, data downloads here, and then maybe the unit will release here, but it's very hard to say. Once the LR comes out, there'll be, what, a week of a dead, I don't say a dead period, but there'll just be a week of nothing. Uh, and then this week is when we'll go into Tanabata. Now, Tanabata is typically a dual do confessed. I don't really think they need to follow that format just because remember dragon ball super superhero was supposed to release in april right and it got delayed now again as we guys know gohan piccolo and then cell max are pretty much the main three units deserving of a dokkan fest you could throw in gamma one and two but at that point you're looking at five or four separate different units for dual dokkan fest it's just too many so i think it's very likely that two out of three will be dual dokkan fest and then the other will be an LR. I foresee the Gohan to be like a Dokkan Fest, and because it's Tanabata, maybe he's the Dokkan Fest LR. I think what could be interesting, what about if they make Gohan the Dokkan Fest LR, they make Piccolo a Dokkan Fest, and they slap him on the same banner, right? Because remember, Tanabata usually follows that format where, like, part two of that banner, they will just have a bajillion LRs, and what if they follow that, and then, of course, they make the part two LR Cell Max. The interesting thing about Cell Max, though, is like, he's technically a giant form type of unit, right? Like, typically speaking, a lot of those giant form units don't really form the integral. I say the integral, but they don't form the central part of a card. Although, I say that, the tech Janemba is a card, so they could easily make him a Dokkan Fest. And the problem is that he has no lines in the film. So, like, it'd be very weird just to use that Cell Max. But what I'm trying to get at with this video is that a lot of what I'm thinking... For Dragon Ball Super Super is pointing towards Tanabata. Um, also, very quickly as well, I've seen a lot of people discuss discuss this. But um, you know, thank you again to Dragon Ball Hype for these images we're about to see. But these images are, are taken directly from the novel. The novel actually was released, I think it was today or might have been yesterday. So we have in in the novel the first image we have is Cell Max here, as you guys can see. We have Orange Piccolo. You can tell the difference because he has this symbol on his back. I believe actually there was an interview today which came out stating that this symbol is um, supposed to represent the pride of the Namekians or something along that line. Um, so that's Orange Piccolo. That's Cell Max. Of course, at some point in the film, Orange Piccolo grows to about, you know, a relative size to Cell Max, which is very interesting. Um, and then, of course, we also have the big boy right here, Final Gohan. Special Beam Cannon, and then of course Cell Max gets, gets obliterated. So, what I'm trying to get at with my, this point here in, in terms of Dragon Ball Super Superhero is that right now the marketing, we're not really seeing any marketing for Final Gohan or for Orange Piccolo or for Cell Max. I think that the reason for that is um, they don't really want to, I suppose, bank. I say bank on everything, but. What's the, what's the phrase I'm looking for? Throw your chips in? No. Uh, throw your dice into... Okay, I don't know what the phrase is. I completely forgot what the phrase is, but... They don't want to just drop everything immediately. I think they want to wait for the film, uh, you know, to just kind of settle in. They want people to go and watch the film. I suppose give it a week or two, and then they'll probably start posting the trailers, the promotional material. Maybe, like, these forms will appear in, like, the card game. When I mean the card game, I mean Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Wait, did I just say Dragon Ball Super Super? I mean the Dragon Ball Super card game. Uh, and like VGM scans and other such mediums, right? And I think only at that point will games such as Dokkan, such as Legends, maybe even Kakarot or Xenoverse will then allow to be published these characters in game because it just doesn't make sense for, you know, Shueisha, Toei, whoever's handling uh, this particular portion of the film to give the green light for these companies, uh, you know, to push these characters out in game without even like a 99.9% .9 of the people who watch Dragon Ball even know what's happening right if you're not really watching the film or if you haven't watched the film so for sure I think it's very likely that since we did also get the the Dragon Ball Super Superhero dub trailer I know this is a very early trailer but do we get it today I, I think this gives them enough breathing room or enough time to actually post their mega spoiler trailers i.e include Orange Piccolo, Cell Max and then Final Gohan because remember Tanabata is still you know 16 days away that's a lot of time remember the film came, the film came out on the 11th so i could honestly foresee a trailer i say a trailer but I, I think we could see a trailer like in this week right here 
I'm thinking maybe the 25th. I think two weeks after the initial release is enough time to where, like, you know, for the most part, a lot of people in Japan would have watched the film at that point. And then if there's any other people, any of the straddlers, and I say that in air quotation marks because maybe they're busy or maybe they're a bit on the fence on should we go to the cinema and watch the film, they push out that Cell Max trailer, they push out the Orange Piccolo trailer, and then they push out the final Gohan trailer. That will get those people to go back in. I say to go back in, but to then purchase the tickets and then go to watch the film. And at that point, that gives the green light, okay, a large proportion of the people who play the games or a large portion of the people who are interested in the series now know that Orange Piccolo, Cell Max, and Final Gohan are a thing. We can now push that in-game. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't know if there's anything else to talk about in Global Players. I'm sorry, but you guys <laughs> kind of stuck. Um, yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Final Gohan, I'll be honest, he looks really cool. I, I, I still don't know if I'm a fan of the look, though. Like, the aura looks cool. The red, I'll be, I'll be, honest, I'll be completely honest here. The red eye, the red pupils for both Orange Piccolo and Gohan, does look very like evil. I don't know if that was like the red, the best choice, red, uh, but it is what it is. I'm also not the biggest fan of the hair. I think I'm fine with the hair being big, but like I think it should have just been black, right? Uh, I don't see the reason why it was white. It should have just been an extension of the ultimate form. Then again, we don't really know what this form is, and I don't think we'll ever get to know uh, for a very long time because remember. The events of this film takes place after Granola and after Mora, which haven't been, which have not even been animated yet, and Granola is still actually ongoing in the manga. So, yeah, very hype stuff for Dokkan. Uh, if Dokkan, I think, drops the ball and they don't drop Dragon Ball Super Superhero for Tanabata, then I think you guys will just, you global players, will be very happy because at that point, I think it's just they're lining up their things for the worldwide celebration which would be over here but that's just way too no i'm sorry guys that's just way too long like i the, the they will they will lose out on so much money by doing this i'm telling you right now the hype will have died down at that point i know that it will be out globally but i can assure you when it comes to like making decisions right for the betterment of the game i feel like a majority of the time the heads at dokkan legends they're making decisions based off what would suit the Japanese player base, right? Not the international player base. And that's not to say that they don't care about the international player base. It's just if they have to choose one community to appease, they're definitely going to choose the JP community, right? So, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys hyped for Dragon Ball Super Superhero coming to uh, Dokkan? Again, it would have been nice if both of uh, the versions, right, both Global and JP had received it, but just the way that D Global's schedule has lined out, it's going to be very tough um for global to receive that and again it also sucks because if dragon ball super super had released as scheduled in april who knows maybe golden week would have been uh final gohan orange piccolo and cell max but that being said thank you guys for watching let me guys think of the video uh let me know what you guys think of dragon ball super superhero coming soon ish or sooner or when you guys think it's coming and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace